Now let's talk about how fish swim. Up to 80% of a fish's body is made of muscle. In comparison, only 30 to 40% of human body weight is muscle. Fish muscles are tightly packed along its sides. That's where a fish gets most of its swimming power. When a largemouth bass wants to move forward, it begins a side-to-side -side wiggle that starts at its head and moves backward along its body. This wiggle pushes water behind the fish, which propels it forward. Fish also use their many fins to move about in the water. They have two sets of paired fins, a pectoral fin and pelvic fin. These are along their side. They also possess a single caudal fin and an anal fin. Some fish species have a single dorsal fin, while others have two. Certain fish, such as freshwater trout and catfish, also have an adipose fin, which is located on their back, right behind the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin, located along the back of a fish, helps the fish remain upright and stable. Some species of fish, such as sunfish, have sharp spines in their fins. These help discourage other fish from eating them. Located underneath the fish near the anus, the anal fin also helps with stabilization. The caudal fin, or tail fin, can be rounded, forked, or crescent-shaped. This fin helps with speed and movement. Most fish use their pectoral and pelvic fins, which are located along their sides, to steer or maneuver. These fins can be moved independently, giving the fish the ability to move quickly in any direction. Fins can be used as brakes or rudders to help the fish stop, to turn, to go up, to go down, or even to go backward. The fish's body shape also affects how they are able to maneuver through the water. Certain body shapes, such as this marine species, may help a fish survive by allowing it to move in and out of tight places, to hide or to catch food, escape from predators. This fish is hiding in a piece of coral. Fish with a flat body shape mostly live and feed on the bottom. Torpedo-shaped fish are built for speed. Fish with a tall, thin shape can easily slip in and out of tight places. Many freshwater and saltwater fish have swim bladders. Most of the time, the fish uses its swim bladder to keep from sinking. Being able to float or rise in water is referred to as buoyancy. The swim bladder works a little bit like a hot air balloon. The more gas it contains, the higher a fish will suspend or float in the water. Some species of fish can also use their swim bladder to make sounds to communicate, for example, during courtship, or to defend its territory, or as an alarm when it's been disturbed. 